All right, we'd like to welcome all of our viewers on YouTube to our second uh, virtual uh, learning options for the 2021-2022 school year. And I will now turn it over to uh, our illustrious panel of experts and uh, you guys can take it away. Thank you, JD. We really appreciate that. And I would like to welcome all of our Henry County families. Um, tonight, we are going to be talking about our online learning op options for high schools and um, the expansion of Impact Academy and what's new for the 21-22 school year. So welcome. We are so excited that you were able to join us tonight. I'd like to introduce our panel this evening. So my name is Kathleen Truitt. I serve as the Assistant Superintendent of Instruction and Learning for Henry County Schools. And I'm joined tonight by Mrs. Tamarian McCrary, the Assistant Superintendent for High Schools for Henry County Schools. I also, we are joined by Dr. Justin Castile. He is the sitting and principal of Impact Academy, Assistant Principal. Whew. You got a quick promotion there. No, assistant principal to Impact Academy. And we are also lucky enough who will be leading our conversation tonight to have Mr. Steve Thompson. He is not only the existing principal at Impact Academy, but he is also known nationally and across the state for being a leader in online learning. So we are so excited for our panelists. And without further ado, oh, wait, I know we have one more reminder. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, we are so excited to begin this conversation with you tonight. And we encourage you to send in your questions as you continue, as you continue to just think about your options for next school year. You see this email address here, and we're gonna flash this again at the end of the presentation. So if you have questions throughout, just make sure that you continue to email that, um, those questions. And at the end, we may take a few questions as well. Thank you for coming th um, this evening. And now I'll turn it over to our principal, Mr. Thompson. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Steve Thompson. I am super excited to share with you about the two learning options for virtual learning for next school year. Uh, this has been my work for over the past decade for Henry County Schools. And um, I've been waiting for this day for a long time to say that we're expanding our program to meet the needs of more kids in Henry County. So tonight we're going to talk about Impact Academy Blended and Impact Academy Virtual. We hope this, pre uh, this uh, presentation provides you information that will help you make a more informed decision moving forward. 11 months ago, uh, for 11 months, we've been dealing with this horrible pandemic. It's required our uh, school district to make unprecedented action in response to this healthcare crisis. I am proud to be associated with a school district that's been so responsive to provide options for families during this time. Each school's had to navigate in providing both face-to-face -face and virtual options for most of the year. Well, next year, Impact Academy is honored to be able to expand our program so that schools can return to regular face-to-face -face, uh, learning in their buildings. Since we know there are many students who really liked and thrived in a remote learning setting, we want to continue to offer virtual learning options for students. Instead of 53 campuses navigating both virtual and on-campus learning, Impact Academy will be the home for virtual learning starting in the 21-22 school year. And we are ready. Impact Academy has a long history in Henry County Schools. Uh, for online and virtual learning experiences for students. It's been, next year will be our 10th year. I can't even believe it. It'll be our 10th year of serving students across the school district and serving all 53 of our campuses. It just makes a lot of sense, natural. It's a natural progression that as we uh, uh, think about continuing these options in a more sustainable way that, that those virtual learning options come under the umbrella of Impact Academy moving forward. And like I said, uh, we have the expertise and we have great teachers that really know how to do this, been doing it for a long time. And uh, we're really excited about the challenge. 
you know, one of the things that uh, we wanted to present to you tonight is uh, the difference between virtual and blended learning. You know, that's a, a key point of your of being here tonight is so that you can make that informed decision about which one of those, uh, if you're going to do virtual learning, would a high schooler in your household want to do. Uh, I'm not going to read all this to you and we'll post this online, but uh, the big picture is that students who are on virtual learning uh, uh, have a course schedule that mimics a lot of what happens in a regular school. They have first period, second period, they're with their math teacher, the math teacher's teaching, there may be some work that a student has to do on their own, just like in a regular classroom, or pass, out, um, pass out some materials they work on. They may work in a group uh, that they may listen to a teacher engage in class discussion. Um, excuse my phone, sorry. Um, and so, uh, but it, it mimics a lot of what happens in a traditional school, except that uh, it's on, in, in a virtual environment. In a blended learning environment, it really is very different in that uh, we, it's more, it's a little bit more flexible in that students are working in an online course uh, and, they're, and they're coming on campus two days a week and working in that online course three days a week. During that time when they're at home, they are uh, engaging in that online course, doing the work, learning all the things they need to learn about their course, but they have access to their teachers. Their teachers may be pulling them into small groups um, and doing one-on-one -on -one or small group work. Uh, and then those two days a week, and we'll explain a little bit later, but students are able to uh, personalize their learning to really meet their uh, individual needs. But what's uh, common between these two approaches to virtual learning is in Henry County, this is a full-time enrollment. And at this time, we're asking uh, families to make a semester-long commitment when they register. And we start registration next week. Um, students have uh, the ability to participate in extracurricular activities at their home school. Of course, Impact Academy is going to have clubs and activities, but they'll also have clubs and activities at their home school and athletics at their home school. Um, students can mix their schedule with Impact Academy virtual or blended uh, by taking courses at their home school that are performance based like band and chorus and ROTC things you can't really offer in a virtual environment. And then we follow the Henry County Schools calendar and we follow the uh, teaching Henry County learning and teaching standards. So we're gonna spend some time talking about Impact Academy virtual. The, uh, I wanted to just give you a, a more visual picture of maybe what a school day looks like. And uh, it's not super revolutionary here, right? If you, have a, if you have a child who's in high school already, you may recognize one of these schedules. Uh, our schools fall into two camps. We have some schools that are what we call block schedule and some schools that we call seventh period days. And schools that are block schedule have a longer amount of time in class, but finish at the semester for that course and start a new class second semester while Kids in a seven period day will have a shorter amount of time in that class, but they continue the course all year long. And so uh, at Impact Academy next year, when a student comes from a school that has a block schedule, that's what they'll do at Impact Academy. When they come from a school that has a seven period day, that's what they'll do at Impact Academy. And these are just, these are draft schedules. They're subject to change as we start to make more concrete plans. Hey, Mr. Thompson. Yes, sir. Now we had a question that came in through the email and it was asking about um, honors courses and AP courses. Are those offered through the virtual and blended programs? Absolutely. We have uh, already started looking at uh, course titles and course offerings for next school year. And the school district is dedicated to providing, providing those honors and AP classes to students in both virtual and blended learning programs. It's a good question, Dr. Castile. Thank you. We also thought it would be interesting to, for you to see what a day in the life might look like for a, a typical student in a virtual environment. So uh, we're gonna meet Autumn. And Autumn 
uh, is an 11th grader uh, at Impact Academy, but she uh, is a member of the Locust Grove High School community. So she plays softball at Locust Grove High School. So students can still do their athletics at the school, um, but she's also a member of Impact Academy's uh, FCA and Locust Grove's Beta Club. So if you look at the schedule, it's a block schedule uh, because that's what Locust Grove runs currently. And she has American literature and algebra one and chemistry and uh, plant science. And, um, and that's her schedule, but she also has things like instructional focus. And you may see that at other schools, they do an instructional focus period and an advisory period. Uh, Again, this is an example schedule. If a student was in a seven period day, it would be a seven period, uh, seven periods of classes. So to summarize the offerings and the, uh, the, the characteristics of, of Impact Academy Virtual, it's a class period by class period attendance. It's much like uh, a traditional school schedule, but it's online. Uh, the number of periods a student is in matches the homeschool and they stay on a similar pace as the regular school. What we didn't talk about was that students have the opportunity to uh, have optional face-to-face -face times with other students and with their teachers. And we're planning for that right now as well. Even for those kids in Impact County Virtual that are fully virtual, they'll be able to opt in some face-to-face -face activities. Some assessments uh, are still required to be taken face-to-face. -face. So we're not talking about unit assessments or we're not talking about quizzes. We're talking about tests like the EOC and those kinds of things that can't be taken online. And students, like I said, have the ability to take performance-based classes at their home school like band, ROTC, and course. Impact Academy, we'll talk about Impact Academy Blended, and this is the type of program we've been running for the past 10 years at Impact at, in Henry County Schools. And it's a program that uh, depends on two days a week on campus and three days a week at home. But what's really different, uh, di distinguishes itself from other programs around the country and around the state is that uh, when students are on campus, there's no real bell schedule. They walk in, they, they are creating their own schedule based on their own needs. It's a very personalized experience for students. Now they're guided by advisors who are helping them goal set and meet those goals. But we all know, right, that uh, I have a, you know, I may have a, a weakness in math, but I have a strength in ELA and maybe I need to spend more time in math than I typically would uh, in a regular school. And that's how we, that's how we handle that with Impact Academy. You'll see in a minute, Jermaine's schedule, and you'll see how he does that. But uh, it's a very different environment. So on the at-home days, when students working remotely, they have an online course where they're, they have a series of things to do, and they've got to get them done. And in that course, they're engaging in learning about things, showing, demonstrating they learned about those things. Uh, and then they're working with their teachers when there needs to be extension opportunities or some re remediation types of activities. Again, we're gonna talk about uh, a student in the day in the life and we'll talk about Jermaine. So Jermaine on Monday, you notice he doesn't have a schedule like autumn, right? He doesn't have a first period, second period, third period. Jermaine's going onto campus at Impact Academy and he's gonna see Ms. Arwood, his algebra one teacher since he's a ninth grader. He's gonna see Ms. Arwood. And because he's, he's stinking up Algebra 1, you know, and so he really needs to see her, and he spends a couple hours with Miss Arwood getting the help he needs. But later, Miss Allen, his ELA teacher, is having a structured class, just like a regular school. But she's created this class where they're going to talk about narrative writing. So he's invited to come to that topical class. She does do this every day but she does it, does it some days where she's talking about narrative writing. He's gonna come in and participate in this class. And then he finishes off the day by going to the, P, going to the gym, spend some time with the PE teacher and the other kids in the gym uh, doing some activities. In that PE class, he's required to be physically active a certain amount of time during the week. He's gonna take that opportunity to do that while he's at school and maybe shoot some basketball. So 
at home on Tuesday, Jermaine's very busy. He's maybe a little bit behind his courses and he's got to catch up. So he starts off at eight o'clock, starts working, but he notices that he's struggling a little bit in biology. So he contacts his biology teacher who meets with him in Google Meet and does some one-on-one -on -one with him. And then he goes back to Ms. Arwood to get some more help later in the day. So it's a very flexible schedule. So what's common about both Impact Academy Blended and uh, Impact, well, no, talking about Impact Academy Blended, I'm sorry, is that students can come on campus, see their teachers those two days a week, but students who want to take a class at the Academy for Advanced Studies can come five days a week and spend time on, we accommodate them, we provide them space in a supervised setting. And then when they, it's time for them to go take that class at the Academy, they just, walk over, take the class, and come back to Impact Academy. So it's a win-win situation for those kids that normally, uh, well, couldn't take welding or couldn't take culinary arts or uh, auto mechanics in a virtual environment to be able to participate in those really unbelievable offerings at the Academy for Advanced Studies. So Mr. Thompson. Yes, sir. I had a question come in from the Union Grove cluster and they wanted to know, so can a student taking um, impact virtual combine that with Academy for Advanced Studies? That's a really good question. So we're also gonna offer virtual uh, courses through impact Academy, I mean, through Academy for Advanced Studies teachers. So students will be able to take CTA courses and still be fully virtual. That's a good, great question. Thank you, Dr. Castile. For Impact Academy Blended, we do provide transportation for high school students um, and won't get into a lot of details. We'll put it on our website, but they get picked up at their bus stop, taken to their high school. There's a bus waiting there at the high school to bring them to us. And then in the early, uh, early afternoon, then students return back to their home school and, wait and work on classes until buses come take them home. But we'll put more details of transportation on our website. So a summary for Impact Academy Blended is that it's two days a week on campus, three days a week at home. It's more flexible. There's an online class, it's course materials, transportation is provided. They can participate in those sports and clubs at their home school, but that we also will have clubs and uh, some assessments are gonna be required as well, like the EOC and they can uh, mix up the face-to-face -face instruction with online courses and webinars. So Impact Academy Court will offer all core content classes and a lot of non-performance-based electives. Um, AP courses, honors courses, CTA courses will offer all of those. But the reg our regular schools will offer performance-based classes like chorus and band, ROTC, and you might be able to think of some others that can't be taken in a virtual environment. Um, and so uh, that's just the distinguishing between those two, uh, going to face-to-face -face at a regular school and what we offer at Impact Academy. So one, th one question you might have is what's a non-performance-based elective? So things like that can be taken in a virtual environment like accounting, uh, business essentials, those kinds of things. Uh, psychology, those are all can be taken online. Other services that Impact Academy provides uh, relate to students who have an IEP or have a 504. Uh, we uh, pride ourselves in serving kids who have accommodations for, for special needs. And if you're interested in that, what happens is you uh, and you enroll and we look at uh, the accommodations in both the 504 and the IEP and see if we can make sure we can serve them adequately in this environment. And we move on from there. So tonight we've looked at two ways uh, to learn online. The third way that's in this graphic is for elementary school. And uh, and we start to register February 1st, which is next Monday through the 12th. And this has been a joy and a pleasure to meet with you tonight. Uh, Dr. Truitt or Ms. Prairie, do you have any other things to add? I 
just wonder, um, Dr. Castile, have we had any other questions maybe we wanted to address or anything that has come through? I know um, we answered some general questions last night. Maybe we could kind of do that again. Sure, we had um, a, a few questions that seem to have a common theme um, asking why um, they're being asked to decide so early in February for next year. Um, hopefully maybe they could have an opportunity to enroll closer to the start of the next school year. Thank you, Dr. Castile. You know, that's an important question we're getting, uh, we're getting asked. And so uh, thank you for asking. You know, uh, the school district has to prepare for this change in how we serve students virtually. And that, uh, that preparation is about staffing and resources and uh, getting courses ready. And that takes, it takes a little bit of time to do that. And so we're asking uh, parents who are going to be interested in this to register February 1st to the 12th. At this time, we're asking them to do that so that we can better prepare and be ready to go uh, first day of school without any hesitation and making that the best educational experience that student can have. And what I will add is that this information is evolving. We're steady making plans, but we have committed to keeping the lines of communication open um, with our communities as you are making this important decision for your family. And Mr. McCurry, I would add to that, that this is an initial conversation that we're having with commu our community right now. But it, when parents enroll in, uh, in Impact Academy, we will continue that conversation with more detail, orientations, uh, those kinds of things as well. Dr. Castillo, any more questions? Yeah, I've got a few more. Um, they, a few parents have asked, you know, what if they get into, you know, maybe Impact Virtual um, and decide maybe, well, maybe I want to do Impact Blended maybe about September. Can they switch from one platform to another or maybe even go back to a full-time face-to-face -face at their home school? Thank you for that question. Um, at this time, the registration process is from February 1st to the 12th, and then we're asking people to make that semester-long commitment. So that means I register, and I will be there at least through December. Then you can reassess and then uh, potentially uh, maybe go from virtual to blended or blended to virtual or back to your home school, but it's a semester-long commitment at this time. And one last question that I have, um, are there a limited number of spots for um, the virtual program or the blended program? Well, we are excited to say that there are not a, no, uh, a limited number of spots for the virtual program. Uh, we are opening that up to as many kids and families who want to choose virtual as the educational setting for their families. We do have a limited number of students who can enroll for Impact Academy Blended. Anything else, Dr. Castile? That's all that I have for right now. Okay. All right, I would just like to thank everyone. Um, thank you, Mr. Thompson, Thompson. Thank you, Dr. Castile, Mrs. McCrary. This has been super um, enlightening. I am so excited about our new virtual options and I'm sure families are super excited too. And wow, what opportunities exist out there between um, the Academy Advanced Studies and Impact, and this is really exciting. So I do know that parents and families may have additional questions. And we're gonna pop, I see that Mr. Thompson has popped that website, the email back up there. So we look forward to your questions. I am, you know, thank these two gentlemen. They are feverishly answering questions. So you will get a direct email back. Um, and also check out our FAQ on the website to see um, some of those commonly asked questions and get your answers there. But thank you, Henry County families for tuning in and spending some time with us. If you're watching this on a recorded session, this email will be available for you as well. Thank you again. I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Good night, everyone.